Coach, uh, going back to that uh, the big country, country festival uh, in the men's side and the women's side, three runners in the top ten. What's uh, what was that overall meet like to see your runners finish just so strongly? Yeah, well, the meet itself is a little unique because it's shorter than the typical distance we run. The women only ran 4K, the men's six, which was great for an opener, but I just told them, hey, let's just back up. Let's just focus on team running today, whatever the time is at the end. That's what it's going to be, and I think the men executed that perfectly with – uh, Anasan, and Gustavo, and uh, Vitari just running together the entire time. And we still have a little bit of improvement to do there, obviously, which is good, you know, it being early September. But then on the women's side, I just think Florence and Eleanor have proven that they're two of the best in the country, and they can run with anybody out there. And they uh, definitely showed that competing against them. the majority of D1 teams in that field. So, How so. valuable is it to have that experience that's already on the team to help come kind of with the younger runners? Yeah, yeah, I think that just – walking some of these younger freshmen through the process of being away from home and having a new training load and just talking them through that and making sure that they're okay day to day and that their stress isn't too high. I think that's a big part of just coaching at this level. Is there something that stands out about the group of kids you have for this year? It's obviously early on in the semester, but are there any things that kind of sticking out to you so far? I think on the women's side, uh, just the freshman class that we brought in showed a lot of promise early on, Lexi Mall is one of those individuals getting a LSC freshman of the week. Obviously, she's very talented, has a lot of room to grow still. And then on the men's side, I think this is potentially the deepest that we've ever been. You know, we didn't run uh, Louis Moreau, who was a transfer from Lindenwood. He's uh, fighting through a little, a few injuries right now, but I think he's going to be ready to go October. So just excited to see both groups progress. And, you know, our goal is to be the best that we've been here this year. You talked about him in that last meeting. Mean, running against the bigger schools in that nature and, and to compete the way that you did. I mean, what does that say about your team right now? Yeah, I just think uh, that it shows that we took care of business this summer. Everybody had a good uh, three to four months of training, which is always great to see. Sometimes you don't see these kids for three or four months and you just don't know how things are going to end up. So just seeing that we took care of business, but we still have room to progress and yeah, that we can compete against a lot of Division one schools. I think that just is a testament to their hard work and the athletic department here at MIT. Going to see some more in the Texas Tech Open. What are you hoping to accomplish there? Yeah, I'm hoping that uh, our men and women can go head to head with Texas Tech again, and we can walk away. There's going to be some other great schools there. Uh, South Plains Junior College obviously always has a great team. New Mexico Highlands is going to be there. Uh, so I would just like to see us go out, get up front, and try to win on both sides. Obviously, your guys' goals are always going to be the conference and everything else like that. So how do these meets help you guys get prepared for that? Yeah, I think just one week. Uh, stacks on top of the other, just especially for those, uh, the freshmen, just getting confidence that they are part of a great program and that we can win a conference title on, on both the men and the women is obviously the goal. Uh, the women is tough, uh, just with Dallas Baptist in the conference. They have a lot of depth, a lot of talented individuals, and they have a great coach. So I think uh, our women have it a lot tougher for the LSC. Now our men, it's not easy either. There's some great teams in there, but uh, hopefully we can secure that 10th in a row this year. And you nearly swept the LSC honor, weekly honors last week. So what does that mean to you and your team? Yeah, again, I think it's just a testament to the recruiting class that we had and the work that they put in this summer. And, uh, it's great to see them run fast and early on.